Hey, what's up everyone, Ollie here. So I've been using the Surface headphones too for the past few days now, I wanted to give you my review. So let's get into it. So when you first open them up, you actually get a nice sort of like hard carrying case that you see here. Um, quite a slim profile carrying case actually. I was quite impressed when I first got it. If we unzip it, inside the case we get the headphones of course, we get 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, we get a USB-C cable for charging the headphones, and then we get some documentation basically showing you how to use the headphones. I'm not gonna lie, one of the big reasons why I chose these headphones was because of the design, because of the aesthetics of them. The matte black finish all around I think gives it a really nice stealthy look, and they're very simple, minimal looking. No flashy colors or over the top design elements at all. Even the Microsoft logo on the side is very subtle and not in your face. They've put it on the headband rather than on the ear cups themselves. The headphones aren't made from metal, they are made from plastic but it is a nice high quality plastic, has a nice soft touch feel to them as well. The ear cups are padded with a very nice sort of soft leather and they're very spongy as well. Hopefully not many people should have issues when it comes to comfort of the ear cups. Straight off the bat, I'm going to say these are probably the most comfortable headphones that I've personally used. One of the main reasons being, when it comes to other headphones, what happens is the edges of my ears rub up against the inside of the cup. And over time, you know, which once you're wearing them for like an hour or two, a couple of hours, it can start burning basically, it can feel like your ears are burning. I don't have that issue with these headphones. My ears fit perfectly within the actual cup itself. I have quite average sized ears I could say. And my ears I think actually stick out quite a bit as well. So yeah, these have been very, very comfortable for me. The leather as well, the sort of squeegeeness and everything about them, it's just super, super comfortable. The inside of the top of the headband has a nice sort of squeegee rubber finish to it. And I've personally found it quite comfortable. I haven't had any issues, but I have seen a few reviews online where people have said, you know, they found it quite uncomfortable over time. I personally just haven't had that issue. And of course it's going to vary from person to person. When it comes to features, I think these are some of the most feature packed headphones that you can get right now. You can have two Bluetooth devices connected at the same time. So for example, you can have your PC and your phone connected to the same set of headphones and it'll always maintain that connection. So you can switch between them without actually having to press anything on the headphones themselves. And that's not a feature you see often at all. User experience wise, these headphones are nearly perfect. When you turn on the headphones, you get an audible notification telling you how many hours you got left which is awesome very useful rather than just finding out a random percentage there are dials on both ear cups the left dial adjusts the noise cancellation how much noise cancellation you like and whether you want sound to come through the headphones ambient sound and the right ear cup adjusts the volume and to be honest this is how it should be always done i'm surprised other headphone manufacturers haven't done this it's such a great way to adjust the volume, adjust the noise cancellation without having to fiddle around with any buttons that you can't see on the headphones. When you take the headphones off, they will automatically pause whatever you're listening to or watching. And when you put them back on, again, it will resume whatever you're listening to and whatever you're watching. Each ear cup has a sensitive touch area and the sensitive touch area can do various different things. So one tap will play or pause your music. A double tap will go to the next track a triple tap will go to the previous track and a tap and hold will enable the voice assistant and i was actually quite impressed by this because it works with siri google assistant whatever your device has and i've had it paired up with my imac and i'm able to use siri on my imac which is actually more useful than i thought it would be the only issue i have that doesn't make the user experience perfect is that the touch sensitive area is a bit too sensitive so if you're sitting at your desk, computer, whatever else it may be, and you just adjust your headphones, I've had multiple times where I've accidentally paused the music, paused whatever I'm listening to, paused whatever I'm watching, and it is a bit of a pain. You sort of have to be very careful when adjusting the headphones on your head. And I think the best way to fix this would have been just to have one big clicky button rather than using a touch sensitive area. When it comes to battery life, Microsoft say you'll get around 20 hours of battery life with active noise canceling over Bluetooth. And I'd say that's pretty accurate for my usage. I also think 20 hours is more than adequate for most people. It's more than adequate for me, that's for sure. And thankfully you can easily charge them through USB-C and it takes only two hours to charge to full with USB-C. The sound quality of these headphones is okay. The bass is great and you can adjust the EQ using the Surface app, the audio app that they have. But I've just found that there isn't a ton of separation between the lows, the mids and the highs. When you're listening to a song that has a lot going on, I feel like everything can get a bit mixed up. So you end up with a sound experience that can be a little bit muddy. I have found though that when you're listening to a podcast or someone speaking, something similar like that, and it's recorded well, of course, it can sound incredibly clear, especially with the noise cancelling. It almost sounds like they're right in your ear speaking to you. I haven't been able to measure the noise cancelling as well as I'd like to, mainly because obviously we're in lockdown. I haven't been using public transport, haven't been on a plane or anything like that. 
but from using it around home, I found the noise cancelling to be very good. When I'm sitting at my computer, listening to a podcast, listening to music, whatever else it may be, and I have these on with the noise cancelling, I can't even hear my own keyboard. The noise cancelling is that good. I found it more, more than good enough for me anyway. I'm not sure it will be as good as maybe the Bose or the Sony's, but I haven't got those to sort of test it out with. I haven't got those on hand. But I think for most people, they will be good enough. If you are looking for the best noise cancelling, then you might be better off with the Bose or the Sony. For the price that these go for, I think the noise cancelling is, is definitely good enough. Overall, for $250, I think these are some of the best headphones that you can get right now. If you're looking for all out sound quality, there are definitely better choices out there. But I think what Microsoft have done here as an overall package is great value. These are going to be my main over ear headphones from now on. I still like to use my AirPods when I'm on the go. But when I'm sitting at the computer, I'll definitely be using these. I just think they're a great mix of design, comfort, sound quality and features. And when it comes to the user experience, you're definitely not going to find any other headphones that are as good as these right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.